Do you have a lover of cars and trucks and anything that goes at home? Are you looking to get some fine motor practice for them and to get some art into their life? You are in the right place. I'm Brandy and I'm a mom of two with years of experience both in the classroom and as a part-time homeschool mom. And I am here to help you as you help your kids learn and grow. Today we are going to do that by making some taxi art. Now we are making taxi art because our book of the month this month is Taxi Dog by Deborah and Sal Baraka. We are all things car this month. So if you have a lover of cars, go ahead and make sure to check out my playlist. I have all kinds of car stuff. Here's what we're gonna need for our project. Art paper, something thick that takes paint well. Paint, we're just gonna use yellow for our taxi, but you use whatever color you'd like. Something to hold the paint, I'm just using an old paper plate. A paint pen, black, we're gonna add details with that. A pom-pom and a clothespin because that's how we're gonna get our fine motor practice in. An outline of a taxi or you could freehand it. I'm terrible at freehanding, you're probably better. A scissor, just make sure the pair you grab is child appropriate if kids are gonna be doing the cutting. Little piece of white cardstock, small piece of black cardstock. A large piece of cardstock for mounting or it can hang freeform. And as always, a copy of our picture book to round out the project. You could read the book aloud while kids are painting their sheets if you want. First thing we're gonna do is create our process art. For this step, it's all about fine motor practice and getting paint on the page. I'm gonna take a pom-pom, clip it into this clothespin. Now we'll grasp the clothespin and dip it in the paint, then smack that paint down on the paper. We're gonna trace our taxi onto this page, so let's try and get a good coat of yellow all over. Again, you could be reading the story while kids are painting if they like a little entertainment with their art. Or if they're focused, let them focus on their masterpiece. Once kids have either A, completely covered their page, or B, are just over it with the painting, set their sheet aside to dry overnight. Now we're gonna turn the process into the product. Take your car outline, trace around it, or draw the car straight on the page if you're so inclined. Now turn it over to kids for them to cut out their taxi. Kids could also trace it if they're working on that. Or you could cut it out for them if they're not ready for scissor practice yet. You decide where your kids are in the process. Next thing we're gonna do is add details. Ask kids what kind of details they think a taxi should have. Look at a photo for reference. We're working on observation skills here. I'm gonna add wheels, door handles, a taxi sign to the top, and some lights. They can add whatever they want. And that is our taxi finished. If you want, you can glue this onto a larger piece of paper or a taxi can roll down the road just as it is. Make sure to check out some of our other storybook crafts if you had fun. Remember, we do a new one each month. So go ahead and subscribe and make sure to check out some of the other far fun car content on my channel. 